An earthquake is a short, elastic motion in the Earth's crust. The most common type of earthquake is the tectonic earthquake, caused by the movement of tectonic plates. This occurs along plate boundaries. The strongest earthquakes are triggered by the collision of two tectonic plates. Tectonic earthquakes occur when tension in colliding tectonic plates has accumulated to a point where the resulting stress exceeds the plate's resistance and their ability to deform. The tension is released suddenly, just like when a stick that is bent too far breaks. Then it spreads out in all directions in the form of waves. The point of origin of an earthquake where permanent deformation occurs is called the focus or hypocenter. The point on the Earth's surface nearest to the focus is the epicenter. Here the earthquake has the greatest strength and destructive power. The distance between the hypocenter and the epicenter is the focal depth of the earthquake. The energy released in the focus or hypocenter spreads in the form of waves. These waves travel through the interior of the Earth and spread out in all directions. They are called body waves. There are two types of body waves, longitudinal and transverse waves. Their names derive from the direction in which the particles move. The speed of longitudinal waves is higher, so they are the first waves to be detected by instruments. That is why they are called P waves, that is, primary waves, while transverse waves are called S waves, that is, secondary waves. Waves traveling along the surface of the Earth are called surface waves. They result from the interference of the P waves with the S waves. Surface waves travel at lower speeds than body waves, but their amplitude is greater. They cause the greatest damage. Several thousand earthquakes occur daily on Earth. Most of them are so weak that they can only be detected by instruments. These instruments, called seismographs, measure and record the ground motion caused by seismic waves during an earthquake. A seismograph consists of a base fixed to the ground, a paper roll rotating on a cylinder attached to the base, and a weighted pen attached to a frame with a spring. The modified Mercalli scale, or MM, classifies earthquakes based on their intensity. This 12-degree scale shows the effects of an earthquake at a given location. The Richter scale is based on instrumental measurements. It indicates the amount of energy released during an earthquake i.e. the magnitude measured by seismometers. Each unit increase in the Richter scale represents a 32-fold increase in the energy released. Although today we have a thorough knowledge of seismic regions and the nature of earthquakes, it is still impossible to predict the exact time an earthquake will occur or its intensity at a specific location. Therefore, the best way to protect against earthquakes in seismic areas is to build earthquake-resistant buildings. The architectural design of buildings, their reinforcement, the building materials used, and seismic isolation and damping structures are all important in terms of seismic resistance.